It is a distinct honor to be recognized as Alumnus of the Year. I thank Alto University for this honor and the many collaborators and teachers that I've had over the years. I also want to congratulate all the current students for an excellent choice to start your education at Alto. You could not have picked a better place and a more rewarding start for your career. The research puzzle that I find intriguing about innovation is that organizations have plenty of ideas. They have great teams, great technology, great people. Yet taking the ideas to the market is incredibly hard. Being successful at innovation is a critical issue for business firms and for national economies alike. In a recent study, we studied a policy change that made it harder for medical device firms to hire a diverse workforce. Our findings indicate that less diversity slowed the innovation down in this sector. In my research, I combine theory with a multi-method approach, typically a large-scale quantitative analysis combined with fieldwork, in order to understand how innovation makes or breaks great organizations. What fascinates me is that big firms that struggle with innovation may be able to use lessons from an unlikely source, startups, to make a fresh start on innovation. One of the exciting projects that I'm currently working on is how to create a culture in a large organization that helps innovators fail well and learn from failure to innovate better. One of the best parts of being a professor is to be able to work with students every day. Teaching is an extraordinary opportunity to bring things that matter to me into the classroom and into young people's lives. At Stanford, I teach a class on creativity and innovation. In that class, my goal is to have everyone live with an idea that they have what it takes to lead and inspire people to innovate. It means a lot to be honored by Aalto University. Aalto gave me a solid foundation in the engineering and science and has enabled me to work on so many interesting things in my life and encouraged me to never stop learning. For that, I'm grateful.